Right, so how's it going, Boss Buddies? Now, over the, well, last week, in fact, I had a full wearing of Mon Tobacco at the Four Corners of the Earth collection um, from Orman Jane, so I have my little discovery set here. So I'll be back in a second with my full review. So welcome back Boss Buddies, I hope you all had a fantastic weekend. Now last week I had a full wearing of Mon Tobacco from the Four Corners of the Earth collection um, from Orman Jane at my wonderful little discovery set here. Um, so there's uh, seven fragrances in there. I've got actually got two of these discovery sets. The other one's the signature collection. Um, but I've been gradually sort of working my way through them as well as all the other fragrances that you saw that I picked up a few weeks ago in Miami. Um, this one. I really did enjoy this one when I first sprayed this one on. The smell or the the kind of vibe that I got from this one when I first sprayed it on is when you, like that smell you get when you walk into a very high-end department store, into like the fragrance and cosmetics area, and maybe there's some sort of leather goods or something that sort of around the outside. Um, that's, I mean, this, I'd say probably more like something like Selfridges, but yeah, all those different sort of wafts of, of smell in the air, and I mean, th th that's definitely what I got from this one when I first sprayed it on. Um, the, the, the dry down though, I didn't enjoy it quite so much. I mean, there is a lot of different notes in this one. Personally for me, when it comes to tobacco scents, I mean, I really do love tobacco scents. It's a, I think it's a, such a beautiful note, and it's such a very sort of masculine and manly note. But with this one, it's not one of my favorite sorts of tobaccos. I normally prefer them to be, although I quite like the leathery tobaccos, I also prefer them to be a little bit on the sweet side. This is not what I get from this one. Um, so I didn't find it quite as enjoyable um, when it dried down. I really love the opening of this one, but the dry down, it really didn't do it for me. I mean, it's a, it's a very sort of unique smelling fragrance. It's not something that I would go for myself. Like I say, I prefer sort of sweeter tobaccos, with the exception of um, the Sandor 70s that I tried last week uh, or the week before from uh, from Cana Barcelona, which I just absolutely loved. It was uh, such an incredible um, tobacco scent. But yeah, this one, it didn't really do it for me. It's not something that really stood out. And I found that there was a couple of notes in there that, that just put me off a little bit. I'm not, I mean, there is rose in the heart, in this one, so I'm not sure whether it is that that's sort of coming through and really putting me off. There's quite a few florals in this one. And although it's not a floral fragrance, it's very tobacco-y and very leathery, but there's just a couple of notes in there that sort of don't really sit well with me. I mean, overall, it's a, it's a great smelling fragrance and it def definitely reeks of um, high quality fragrance. Um, but for me, I mean, you can't, like I say, you can smell the quality of this one and it's definitely up there with some of the best. They're using some quality notes in this one. But for me, it just didn't sit well. So, I mean, when it comes to the longevity, the longevity was fantastic. This one was going all day long, um, all the way through the evening as well. So there was no problem with the longevity. And projection was pretty good. Um, projection was going strong all the way through the day. And I think if, I mean, like I say, the projection was great and I could smell it all through the day. It's just a shame that it just didn't sit particularly well with me. Um, but I did, I mean, overall I did enjoy smelling this fragrance. I did enjoy wearing it. It was good quality. Um, this one's just not for me though. But I mean, if you are a lover of tobacco fragrances, it's definitely worth giving this one a try. Um, like I say, although it's not for me, I mean, you may find you might, may find it slightly different for yourself. Um, as usual, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I know a couple of you recommended this one to me, so um, I'd love to know what you love about. Um, uh, yeah, I'd love to know what you love about that fragrance. Um, how you find it? Um, do you find it sort of? Do you find any of the florals or anything like that that come through? Um, please let me know. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. You can find me at Luxury Fragrance Boss. That way, you can keep up to date with uh, my scent of the day, um, any videos I'm releasing. Also hit that notification button as well. That way you know um, anytime I'm dropping a new video, because um, it does vary at the times of the day when I do that, but yeah, you'll notif get notification anytime I drop in a new video. Um, I do them every day, so expect it at some point and uh, every day. Um, other than that, thank you very much for watching. Stay smelling fantastic, and I'll see you in my very next video very, very soon.